who have been awarded a Nobel Prize, uh, together with Oliver Smithies and Mary Capecchi, for the work that we've done to introduce gene targeting in mice. Now, my part of that was the discovery and isolation development of embryonic stem cells. And some people have actually called me the grandfather of ES cells. Hey, Susie, how are the clones? It's a wonderful accolade. It's a dream come true, a boyhood dream come true. This is the tops in science. And I have previously had some awards, including the Lasker Award, but this is the final icing on the cake, and it's so wonderful to have it now. And you, can you homologously recom recombine into them? Oh, yeah. yeah. We've, we've done that. The medical benefits are enormous, and they're enormous, really, because it allows a detailed understanding of the function of genetics. I'm talking about looking at the function in mice, but the human genome and the human genes are very similar, and so therefore we can infer what a gene does in the human situation from what it's doing in the mouse. I'm absolutely delighted myself to receive the Nobel Prize, but I'm also very pleased that it will reflect upon UK science, on science in Wales, and particularly on science in Cardiff University, where we have assembled a very strong bioscience and biomedical science team. Right, so who have we got here then? This is Mireille Bowie and, um, Hello, and this Mireille. is Farina. Hello. Hello. One of the wonderful things about this award, of course, is it's an international award. And of course, this puts Cardiff University clearly on the international stage, which of course it's been for some time. One of the reasons that Cardiff can be moving up the ladder is the investments in the facilities here. And, of course, what we have been doing is investing in research. And research is vital for a modern university. And if you are going to be a top university with top students, you have to be well up there in research. And I'm glad to say we are. Hi, Pete. Oh, Sorry to disturb you. How are you getting on? People often ask me about why we should be doing fundamental research. Now, this is really a very difficult question in biology because there are practical outcomes. But if you look at astronomy, for instance, the astronomers are looking to the stars, they're finding wonderful things about them, and we're all very interested in the outcome. This is our universe we're living in. Now, we live on this world in a biological universe, and our internal stars need to be studied in just the same way. And really what this is is an intellectual approach to our full understanding of the biological world in which we live.